Ho, ho, ho! It's Christmas BML delivery time! Let's go! Christmas and we'll catch you next year. Have a safe flight back to England. Okay guys, moment of truth. We're gonna have a look and see what's in the in the box here. This is my very first international beer mail. So I'm very excited to uh, have a look at what's inside. So we'll, uh, we'll do an unveiling. Here we are. This is Zombie Dust version 2 with Nugget Hops and this has kindly been sent to me all the way from England uh, by Steve Molson. So thank you very much for sending this Steve. Um, I tried to talk Steve out of sending it because I knew um, it was going to be cheap to post but, but he insisted and I'm very pleased you did Steve. It's a, it's a fantastic hot day here um, so I can't think of a better day to try this beer. Um, it arrived yesterday, Steve, the 22nd of December, so it's only had one day in the fridge um, to settle down, but I wanted to try and do a video before Christmas, so yeah, th thanks very much, Steve, I'm totally blown away. Um, you know, it's, I've been watching videos from you guys in the UK for quite a long time now, and it's, uh, it's quite amazing I'll actually get the chance to taste one of your beers, so uh, it's nice and cold, been in the fridge, like I say. Bit of glass here, let's uh, pour it out. Yep. So the beer's uh, looks like it's about three months old. Uh, so this is the second time that Steve's um, brewed the zombie dust. Um, first time he did it with Citra Hops, which is um, what I used when I did the zombie dust, and this time he's used the nugget. So Steve just opened it fairly slowly because I wasn't sure how I carved it up, but it was there was some nice hiss there. Um, yeah, so yeah, like I say, Steve's done a version one, and this is version two with nugget hops, and I believe he's going to try and do other versions with different hops. So there we go. Just a little bit in the bottle. So there we go. It's got a fantastic colour. Um, it looks just how I uh, remember zombie dust looking. It's got that nice sort of dark sort of orange um, fruit punch sort of colour to it. Uh, still got a nice little head on the top there Steve. Um, nice tight bubbles and there's plenty of carbonation coming up so yeah, even though it's been in the, um, the fridge and it's travelled halfway around the world it's uh, survived very nicely. So let's get a smell on this. Straight away I'm getting the hops off the top. I'm not familiar with um, nugget hops, I don't know how readily available they are in New Zealand, so it's, um, it's always nice to try a new hop. Oh, that smells great, Steve, considering it's uh, what three, three and a half months old, there's still a lot of hop aroma there. Um, it's got like a piney, um, intense sort of citrus aroma coming off the top. Um, 
can't quite say it's like any other hop that I've tried, but um, yeah, I might just dive in because it's, yeah, like I say, it's stinking hot outside. That tastes great. First thing that hits me is those hops again. They're coming through. Definitely getting more citrus coming through now, Steve. Um, and there's some nice bitterness, but it's not it's not too harsh. Um, probably given that amount of time, the, the bitterness is probably smoothed out a bit. Yeah, it's got some real nice sort of. Um, It's like pine, it reminds me of some other hops that have that sort of pine, resin, um, intense sort of citrus flavour to it. Um, so like grapefruit, there's quite a bit of grapefruit coming through. Um, and like orange as well, so the orange, grapefruit, and then that pine and resin um, coming through as well. But it tastes great, it's, and I'm really pleased it's still held how, how the hop character. I think um, Steve used about 100 grams um, when, he, when he made this up. It's got a really nice mouthfeel to it as well. Um, by that I, I sort of mean it's um, it's almost like a medium body um, when you're drinking it. It's um, goes down very smooth, tastes really nice on the tongue, it's got that nice smooth bitterness there. That's a fantastic beer Steve. Now I believe this is um, this is based on the zombie dust recipe that I did but Steve's um, used an extract base but then he's uh, done like a um, partial mash, so he's mashed some, some of the grains, he's probably used the same grains, Munich, Crystal, Lodian I think was in there as well. But that tastes fantastic, it doesn't, it doesn't taste like an extract beer. And that's the best compliment you can, you can pay an extract beer is to say it doesn't actually taste like an extract beer. Compared to a lot of the beers that you can buy in the shops, um, this this would blow the socks off um, a lot of those beers. Man, it's going down awesome on this on this day. It's like 30 degrees outside, um, and this is nice and cold. Uh, it's the perfect beer. I haven't had a beer today. Um, just finished work, so this this beer is sort of really hitting the spot. Done a fantastic job there, Steve. I still can't believe this beer's travelled um, halfway around the world. Um, sort of just, yeah, just blows me away that it's, um, you know, it's made in England by Steve, and then he's shipped it all the way over here. I think it took, um, I think Steve sent it on the 9th, arrived on the 22nd, so 13 days. So that's that's not too bad to New Zealand. I was a bit worried it wouldn't actually arrive at all because our border security here is very strict on um, food products coming into the country um, and Steve actually wrote beer sample on the uh, declaration sticker I noticed and I thought that may have uh, attracted a bit of attention and they may have ripped the box open and um, possibly just um, thrown it away but no, it made the trip so that's, that's great. Um, I think this is, yeah, it's 4.8%. 4, 4 I think Steve's first version was um, around 7 from memory, or in the high 6s. But this is a, uh, this is a great sort of sessionable um, ale, and it reminds me of um, what I liked about um, when I brewed the zombie dust up, and that was, oh, that was over a year ago now. And um, after having this, Steve, it's... Um, it's made me want to brew it up again. I 
should actually be drinking this a bit slower because, um, yeah, sa savour this um, for as long as possible. So yeah, cheers to you Steve, thanks very much, I really appreciate it mate, and I wish you a very very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I'll try and organise to get something back to you um, after the New Year just to repay your thanks. Um, and um, for sending this over. Well that's me done guys. Um, check out Steve's channel. I'll put a link below. Um, Steve's been brewing for about a year now. I think I've been following him pretty much from day dot. Uh, he also has a uh, plot so he grows a lot of his own vegetables. He uses that um, in his beer making and also wine making. Um, yeah I think in the last year Steve's done a tremendous amount of brewing so yeah if you're interested in either vegetable gardens or beer making or wine making um, yeah definitely check it check out Steve's channel like I say I'll put a, a link below okay guys thanks for watching and we'll probably catch you one more time before Christmas okay over and out cheers